I am Gregory, and this is Pensane. On the table, we have a pen that wasn't going to be purchased. <laughs> I, I told myself with the previous pen that I purchased that, okay, I'm done. I've bought too many pens recently. I'm done. And then Pen Chalet happened to show this on their YouTube channel. <laughs> and I was super, super excited. Uh, I'm vaguely familiar with the Monteverde Innova. And it's, it's a pen I didn't really feel the need to get. Uh, I probably would have got it eventually. Um, but, you know, it it didn't really stand out to me. So it wasn't really high on my list, shall we say. And then they came out with this, the Innova Formula M. And again, Pen, Pen Chalet showed it and I was blown away. I had to have it. I had to have it. So you can kind of tell by the pattern on here and by my wedding band. <laughs> um, I like woven patterns. So, um, yeah, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous pen that looks like no other. So, yeah. Um, take the pen out. We'll look briefly under the bed. It's the usual stuff. Um, you have the uh, documentation there, instructions, um, two inks. I already have an ink in mind for this, however. Uh, so that's that's the case. But look at this pen. So it's this beautiful, beautiful blue color. And then you have this very interesting woven pattern, which is actually, I don't know how they do it. It looks like a series of wires, actually, that have been uh, put together in bands and then woven together. It's incredible. And you can kind of see some of the separation of some of the, the individual strands. But my goodness, and I'm not sure there's, there's, an underlying material that almost looks like copper. And my goodness, is this, I don't know if this is just like a checkered band or is that carbon fiber? <laughs> I should have researched this pen a little more before doing this unboxing. Um, but my goodness, I, I just, I just had to do it because I'm eager to use it. And then the the trim is uh, gunmetal, which Monteverde likes using. They use that on a number of their pens, and I think it's gorgeous and it fits this perfectly. Look, look at that that finial there. It's like a little crown. And you can, you might not be able to make it out, but you can just barely make out the Monteverde logo on there. And then it's flat on this end. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> and okay, it does uh, pop off. Look at that nib, it seems, seems very long. 
I assume that's a number six. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. No, it's probably a number five. I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad with such things. And there it is. Uncapped. There's a good look at the nib. And this, of course, my favorite is broad. So this is a broad nib. I usually forget to show the feed in my videos, but you know, a feed is a feed, right? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Now, unposted, it's a fairly short pen. Um, I have small hands, so keep that in mind. Um, if you have bigger hands than me, this is probably going to be too short unposted, but interesting. That doesn't... Oh, okay. Oh, that's a very, a very clicky posting there. It's still actually very well balanced, but posted, it's a very heavy pen. A very heavy pen. <laughs> um, yeah, that's very, very heavy. So, and, and I tend to use pens unposted, actually. Oh. So the, the grip section is on the small side. There's just a very... A uh, slight step up, it's, it's nothing major. You're barely going to feel it. Um, this pattern, actually it's more than a pattern, this, this woven texture uh, is perfectly comfortable. I, I can sense it, but it's, it's not uncomfortable at all. Uh, oh my goodness, this is a gorgeous pen. <laughs> oh boy. And it comes with the converter. We'll be filling it up in a moment. Very, very firm click when posting and uncapping and capping and all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, wow. I love the look of this pen. I do have to say, and I think you're picking it up on the camera, that these are two slightly different colors of blue. That's interesting. And I don't know if that is intended or... I mean, it doesn't look bad. It it just... yeah. But I, I dare say they're two slightly different... Now, this is kind of a matte finish to it. And then this, of course, is is super shiny, so that could be affecting the look of it. But my goodness, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, I do have to say, some of the, the, the individual strands, you know, it seems like there's more separation between some. Um, I, I, assume that's just the, you know, just what's going to happen with this, this kind of weave. Uh, Formula M, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> uh, but my goodness, a gorgeous pen. Anyway, we want to try writing with this, right? So, now I'm, I'm, I have to say I'm a little disappointed <laughs> because I specifically chose this ink for this pen. Denim blue, Conklin den denim blue. But there's not much blue in there. <laughs> yeah, there's there's not much blue in there. In fact, there's very, very little. I would have called this denim black. Um, there's maybe a tiny, tiny hint of blue in that lighter area there. But this is not blue. This isn't even close to blue, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to me, it looks more like black denim, so it should have been denim black. 
nevertheless, uh, I'm still gonna put it in here because I, I don't know offhand that I have an ink that fits this better. So, here's the bottle. Plus, it never hurts to have another pen inked up with black, right? Okay, so let's see this thing right. So this is... This is super, super smooth. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and the, the ink is... Now I'm noticing some flow, um, I'm not gonna call them issues, but some differences in the flow. I'm gonna chalk that up to the fact that I literally just inked this up. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna fault the pen for that. My goodness, this might be the smoothest Monteverde nib I have ever experienced. It is amazing. And by the way, the cats are going crazy. <laughs> uh, let's check the... Moderately wet, I'd say. And see, even in the smear there, that can barely, barely be considered blue. And in fact, I, I struggle to call that blue. So I don't know how they came up with this name. In the lighter parts there, I can maybe see what would be considered denim blue, um, but I'm, I'm struggling though, I'm struggling. <laughs> All right, let's do a quick writing sample here. Wow. Wow. I am very, very pleased. And uh, honestly, you know, the ink goes perfectly fine with this pen. Um, I, I wish it was more, I wish it was more blue. <laughs> um, but you do get kind of a denim feel, especially in the lighter parts, like at the very top there. Uh, you know, I can kind of see it. But wow, this pen and that nib, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely amazing. So I, I can, right here, right now, I can highly recommend this pen. I can't speak to, to the other uh, nib sizes, although based on my experience, you know, they're all pretty good. I definitely lean more towards uh, medium and broad and even stub with Monteverde. Um, but broad is definitely my, my sweet spot. I did forget to designate that it, that cap is on there firm, <laughs> that this is a broad Formula MB. <laughs> oh. Now I, I will say, so it, this comes in, in black, blue, and bronze. I was briefly tempted by the bronze, but this blue one is what really, really caught my eye. Um, yeah, I think it shows off the, the woven pattern 
very, very nicely. So anyway, so this has been the Monte Verde Innova Formula M with Conklin Denim Blue. All right. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.